Herm Edwards, the head coach of the Sun Devils, stops by with us here on Pac-12 Network. Coach, always great to talk with you. Congrats on a really good season and obviously a very strong class, which we want to dive into. One of the interesting things, and I've heard this from a few people, and specifically Curtis Conway, who's doing some high school coaching as well, just the different approach that you guys have. It's kind of like not just one, not just two, but you guys roll seven or eight deep to try to get some of your guys uh, and convince them to head to Tempe. Take me through the philosophy that you and your staff have put together with regard to recruiting. Well, I think recruiting obviously is about what 80% of college football anymore because it's year round. And I think what you realize is the more boots you have on the ground uh, when you enter high school campuses, I, I, I think it, it becomes one of those things where they go, you brought this many coaches? Yeah, these players are that important to us. And I think anytime the head coach and the coordinators and the position coaches can show up on campus uh, when you're going to recruit an athlete, um, that, 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 that sends a message that, you know, these guys are important to us and, and we're going to do everything we can to get in the game to try to recruit them. Coach, speaking of the game, say goodbye to Manny Wilkins playing at least on the field for your program. And now you bring in not one, not two, but three quarterbacks. In terms of the competitive cauldron you're trying to create, how do these three young men fit into that role? And what's it like talking to three different guys around the same position, only one guy plays on the field at a time? Well, honesty uh, and their ability to come in and compete for a position that is vital uh, in football as we know at all levels. And I think they understand our situation here. Uh, Coach Likens has done a nice job of really, really putting a lot of effort into all three of these young men. Now, I'll, be, I'll be tied to their hip as well because they play the quarterback position. But I just think they understand they're going to have the ability to come in here and compete to be a starting quarterback. And, and, and that's very important. And I think – our history says that, the little history we have. We started five freshmen last year on defense. So we're not afraid to play the best players. And if that happens to be a young quarterback, so be it. We're going to play him. Speaking of young quarterbacks, Jaden Daniels. I mean, the, when sent shockways throughout college football recruiting, when you guys got him, what does a player like him bring to your offense with the dual threat element that he's got in his game? Well, you mentioned it, a dual uh, threat type quarterback, um, has a lot of poise, uh, also very knowledgeable. When you sit down and talk to him, as well as, as Joey and, and Ethan, they all uh, love the game of football. Uh, they're all in, and that's what you have to be as a quarterback. I mean, you've got to love this game. I mean, their ability to uh, try to gain knowledge every time they play, they're big in the classroom. Uh, their work ethic goes uh, without being talked about. They all have leadership qualities, which a quarterback has to have. So they fit the DNA of the position that they play. Coach, last year at this time, when you brought your defensive coordinator, Danny Gonzalez, in, us football guys were fascinated by his scheme. You know, we all talked about the 3-3-5 and what that meant for your current roster. So I'm curious, going into his first recruiting cycle, uh, your observations of the defensive class and, and how he's put that whole thing together. Well, it starts with the back end. Uh, you have to have uh, players that can cover. And, and I think now um, we've kind of stocked our cupboard uh, with some guys that we feel they have some length, they have great ball skills. If you think about uh, Rashari Crosswell, who played for us last year, a freshman, he led our team in interceptions. The guys that we're bringing in here, they all have that ability to play the ball. Uh, they're good in space. They tackle well. They have great instincts. Those are the type of players you want in the back end of your defense. Why? We play in the Pac-12. They throw the ball around the yard a lot. You have to have instinctive players. Uh, and with these guys we're bringing in, it's going to be very, very competitive. So we feel like we've really upgraded uh, the competition uh, in the secondary position. Speaking of the secondary, I'd like to stay there with Jordan Clark. You know, you go down into the SEC country. This is a guy who could have gone to the Ivy League, probably could have gone anywhere he wanted. What was that like for you? He calls you a pseudo-uncle father figure to a certain degree. How'd you go in and make that happen? Well, obviously, the connection that I have with his father, and, 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 and AP as well. You know, AP played with his dad in, in Washington. And uh, when you meet the family, uh, look, character doesn't fall, fall, uh, fall uh, far from the tree. And, and Ryan Clark is a character individual, played a long time in the National Football League. And you're right, his son is very well coached already. Ryan's done a great job with him. And I just think um, the family atmosphere here really helped us in, in how we deal with players and how we're going to treat players. Uh, I think that was really something they were looking for. We're fortunate to get his son, and, and, and I'm, I'm excited about having him. 
And Coach, before we let you get going, I'm looking at some of the numbers. I can count it up real quick. It looks like nine players from the state of California. 2016, 2017, it was 12 total combined. It looks like a real point of emphasis for you and your staff. Can you just talk about how important it is to get some of those Southern California kids to, to head to Tempe? Well, it's, a, it, it's very important because it's the volume of where, where a lot of athletes um, live and play football. Now, our, you know, we, we've said this. Our states are Arizona. We've got three out of Arizona, as you mentioned, the ones in California and Texas and in Nevada. And those are the states that we really recruit heavily in. Now, every once in a while, we'll go out and, and, and you know, and go to another state or two. But those are the ones that the concentrated effort is going to be in. And, and obviously, California, because of the volume of people they have in Los Angeles and the type of football they play there, uh, that's a hotbed. I mean, if you look at any of the schools that play in the Pac-12, most of their rostered are, are filled with California athletes. Coach, appreciate you stopping by with us. Give our best to your staff and look forward to seeing you again in person. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Happy holidays.